Hey guys, welcome to season one, episode 15 of Bones. Here we go. It's online dating. It's fascinating how interest and intimacy can be cultivated online. I've done enough Googling to schedule a dinner. You said there was a delivery? The bones washed ashore in Chesapeake Bay. Judging from the alley. Chesapeake Bay. For quite a while. They nice. ate both to be honest. The FBI is pretty certain this is James Cugini. They're looking for evidence that could lead them to the killer. It's a mom boss who disappeared six years ago after his daughter's dance recital. Yikes. And shoes. They are quite good at this. Should we really be involved in mob stuff? I mean, they're really into the whole killing. Tomorrow morning's fine. You have a date tonight. It's not a date. It's a meal. With a man? Did you meet him on the website? I With a man. You're dating online? Well, it's a practical way of objectively examining a potential partner without all the game playing. That comes later if it works out. Hi, I'm Angela. Special Agent Jamie Kenny. <laughs> well, I was at the bureau when Booth took his coffee cup. <laughs> Apparently, they're both the world's greatest FBI agents. That's right. Hinton's work in the Cugini case. He's one of the original investigators. This is Brennan's brain trust. You know, whatever happens, seeing someone across a crowded room. <laughs> Eyes meeting that old black magic oh, gets you in its spell. There's no such thing as magic. Oh, there's magic. <laughs> See, I appear for a reason because Agent Kenton is handling this. He has some remains to look at. 90% of the flesh is missing because of mutilation and post mortem anthropophagy caused by canine scavenging. Hey, stay here. What? Wait to see if you need them. Just working. Good I got. God. I'll meet you there. Okay, bye. My reservation just got pushed, so I have a few extra minutes. You disapproved. I said great. With attitude. Don't go overboard with the psychology. It's not your thing. Look, I am an adult, Booth. <laughs> you know what? That's cool, but you don't even know who this guy is that you're meeting. I have trekked through Tibet, avoiding the Chinese army. I think I can handle meeting someone for dinner. Fine. You know what? You have fun with Dick 431 or whatever his handle is. Yeah, I will. Good. Thanks. Fine. Good. <laughs> Oh, you too. Probably to open up the flesh, make it more appetizing for the dogs. That's disgusting. No, I know. The traffic on the beltway can be brutal. Okay. Bye. Jesus! <laughs> Right? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know if that was the person she was talking to or. If you examine the dog's excrement, she's a little angry. Take a sinus probe. An hour ago, someone tried to kill you. I don't think it's a good idea for you to continue to work these cases. This is what I do, Booth. Logic suggests that the shooter is involved in one of these cases, so I should find out who killed them before he tries to shoot me again. Did forensics recover the bullets that were meant for me? Ballistics is running tests on them right now. Damn. And have you picked up the suspect in the young woman's murder? She is like... There is one other person we have to look at. Your date. Well, Ooh. I spoke yeah. with him, Booth. He was in his car in traffic. And why would he want to kill me? Why would somebody want to kill your victim over there? Oh, God. Look, Bones, I know it's hard for you to admit that you might be wrong about something. You have to really acknowledge that. Feelings right now, I'm more concerned with your life. So I'm not letting you out of my sight until I find out who is trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Good looking guy, but yeah, you find your women online. Excuse me? Don't you find any women at work? Your picture doesn't do you justice, by the way. Well, thank you. Yours either. I. Oh, he's a Luddite. Hey. That's someone who's afraid of technology. I know what a Luddite is. <laughs> so, I'm a fundraiser for the Brady Campaign Against Gun Violence. You think I try to kill you? Just stay close, in case we need you for anything else. Yeah, sure. Anything I can do to help. This is so personal. <laughs> it's not... So this whole, uh, uh, you know, online thing, how long is just it last? Because it's just a way to, you know, stoke up. I gotta tell you, it's pretty low. They've been married for five years. Doesn't mean it's not creepy. Okay, I'm sorry. Did I did I miss something? Because I don't want to get in the way what? between you. Oh, no. no. Sure. Great. Yeah, I think someone needs this room. Let's go. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> she won't stay safe. That's nice. so obvious. That nice. Hello? Hey. 
victim is Patty That's Hamilton. Hilarious. Hamilton disappeared walking back to her dorm. Ew. She's to go to she was to work at a medical clinic. Eaten by dogs? Home. He knew her? The killer has done this before. Booth couldn't get the evidence he needed. The guy promised Booth they never would. It's not often you can interrogate a guy on a first date. I like him. Booth still doesn't approve, but I told him to mind his own business. Hey, Booth is a big, strong, hot guy who wants to save your life. You actually have a knight in shining Jealousy. FBI standard issue body armor. So cut him some slack. Is her? Oh. Yeah. So here and here on the outer compact boat. Do you think you could use a computer to recreate the complete imprint the boat left? I don't know if I have enough here to work with. Obviously, he was shot. After it's discharged, a lot of times. every bullet has a distinct pattern etched into it from the barrel of the gun, right? Mm -hmm. And then the he was what dumped in the freaking lake or whatever. As reverse engineer the bullet. Then you'll be able to tell which weapon was used, make, model, the whole shit. That is I've really smart. The, the knife marks were made by a non-serrated blade, consisting with a pocket knife. Like this one. Ew, I a found pocket knife? knife marks on C5 indicating that the throat was slashed. Where are we? By a pocket knife? Doesn't match anything on the knife. Alright, I'm not leaving you alone. Come on. Hey, if it's so dangerous here, why are you leaving us? A strong guy like you, huh? You'll be able to take care of yourself. <laughs> it's Frank Lombardi. He's been seen in the area. Frank Suspected Lombardi. of killing more than 25 people. I recommend you walk away. Is that why you brought me here? To scare me into giving up? You really want me to walk away because it's dangerous? It's been dangerous before, let's be honest. Man, I tried. And I mean, even then, she almost had a freaking game come after her. Ballistics on the bullets that were meant for me? It's a parasite found in beef liver. I found their eggs in the dog excrement. So if we find any traces of liver at Hollings Place that contains the parasite we can time to the dog. That's so like possible. Alarming. I also found that the cut marks on her bone showed that the pocket knife had a nick in the blade. Agent Boot? Long time no see. Hollings, wondering if we could take a look around your place. Come in, please. <laughs> you must have had quite a fright. Don't play with her, Holland. Oh, I hope you don't think I was being insensitive. Be my guest. Can I open this? Of course. Is this about the girl they found the other night? Guaranteed that whatever you're looking for, you're not gonna find here. That's a lot of keys. Well, you might be locked up someplace. I'm afraid without cause or a warrant. Oh, you see, I, I do have cause. See, this key here is from a federal building. It says, do not duplicate. And the other one looks like it was used in a burglary just around the corner. And, oh, since you did allow us in your home. This is very rude, Agent Booth. Game's not so fun now, is it? <coughs> He's an idiot. Why'd you let him in? <laughs> I have a court date tomorrow morning at 10. You had no right to confiscate his collections. And since you haven't charged him with anything? Yeah. But I'm really looking forward to charging him with this. Look at that. I imagine it must be very frustrating when you, uh, when you can't solve a crime. My client is a respected researcher with Whitley Chemical. He hasn't missed a day of work in the past two weeks. Unless you have evidence to hold him. Can't stop looking at it, can you, Hollings? Hmm. Yeah, he, he hasn't really been reacting. That's psycho. He's brilliant. Why, do you, why does he have so many damn keys, though? Like... And why is he so stupid? Oh, yeah, come on in. If you don't find anything concrete, he walks again, right? You don't have the physical round of a shot. I'm trying to make one based on the wounds. Could give us the murder weapon. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Well, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Sure. You need hard evidence, evidence dude. The judge is going to release him in less than 18 hours unless we can find something tangible. He's a predator, very smart, enjoys the game, you know, feels like he's untouchable. Uh, the room is centered around this chair. You can see how he's surrounded back and sides by the bulk of the keys. Hmm. If this were an innocent collection, he'd be facing it, but in this configuration, he's... Looking away. 
won't go like this. You know, it's it's a display. As he looks away. Mayan rulers kept souvenirs of their kids. They, they called the display a, a zampantli. It was believed that it showed their strength and power and would strike fear into anyone who saw it. He's right handed, correct? Yeah, right. Uh, the, bulk of the keys are on his right side. I would look at any of the keys in the containers on his right side over here. That's so brilliant. A saw blade of some kind. Lack of hemorrhage in the surrounding eye tissue suggests she was already dead before the eyes were removed. Maybe if you look for something smaller, maybe a surgical instrument. The concrete used to sink Cugini is composed of class F fly ash. That's just That's some plants. real it's sick shit. Exciting. Not yet. Tapford construction. Six years ago, it was owned by Carlo Rolando. Mona doesn't seem very worried. Yeah, it's here, Bruce. Good word. Thank you. Oh. All of those keys in. Kind of like <coughs> all those keys and you couldn't find a single so thing. Think, how many keys do you need? A car, house, lab, morgue. I need a lot of keys. <laughs> <laughs> he must have used a key to gouge out the eyes. Oh. And he kept it near him in his apartment. He's on his way to reclaim them right now. Oh. So you have at least a half an hour, maybe more. At least. Forget about matching them to any locks. Have Match them to the skull. Have send this to Zach so he can find a key that matches the grooves on the bone. She's good, huh? Told you. She's real good. Oh, she should, uh... You haven't slept in over she a should day, get a call. Right? They should both rest. get a call the from think the Criminal saying? Minds yeah. squad. Where's the TV? I had one, but it broke. I'm... I mostly just read and listen to music. So let's listen to some music, huh? Oh god, is it like oh, yeah. Beethoven? Bones. Tibetan throat singers rock on. That's huh? mostly for work. The artist has to live within a set tonal structure and trust his own instincts to find his way out of an infinite and Reed of would frickin' the great ones do. <laughs> they would talk forever. What? You know, there's been a reoccurring thing. I promise me that you're gonna stay with him. I will. Here. Did they gather all the evidence from the explosion? Yes. You're sure? Every time he calls. I was there. Seconds there later. Zero, and you got blown up. It's have been worse. You have burns, <laughs> lacerations. That's bad. Two that's nothing. Ribs, that's the nothing. The fracture of the clavicle. Okay, I got blown up. Can you hand me one of the puddings? So sad and defeated. You hit me one of the puddings. <laughs> Stick with her. Yeah, if you want me to. Don't you think I should be consulted? No. You keep her close. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's talk revenge. Bloodlust. Revenge. The cathartic release we're looking for can only be achieved when we successfully gather enough evidence to neutralize the person or persons responsible for putting Booth in that hospital. There's no ring. No <laughs> or gay. Gay? Why would you say gay? Broke back, baby. Gotta ask. Not gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is a perfect match to the sulfur manufactured by the chemical company Hollings works for. Well, there you go. His keys are gone. Of course, left in a hurry. Brennan, we found the key. FBI said Hollings never returned to claim them. It matches the bone damage exactly. And it's definitely one of Hollings' keys. It was dipped in some kind of chemical bath to remove anything organic. Good eh. work. I just came by to see how you are. Oh. Interesting. We didn't catch that before. 
I guess not. Or maybe your killer's getting sloppy. Or maybe not. he's setting it up. Can use explosives either. It's got to be a change. setup. That makes sense. Thing about life. It's the only way that I can think of that. Running. I'm just thinking people don't really change. We like to believe they do, but they don't. You're feeling something a little more devious. Like a frame up? Oh, I like it. Very conspiratorial. <laughs> just neat. No, Hollings would never leave a map there. And these guys have been involved in conspiracies a lot more complicated than this. They set up Lee Harvey Oswald, work with the CIA to kill Castro, forget about what they did to Marilyn Monroe. Someone planted that evidence so that we'd find it someone who knew what we were up to. Someone at the lab works for the model. I can see it. There's not much difference between a corrupt corporate government and organized crime. <laughs> You're right. People never tell me I'm right. They only say I'm crazy. Love you, man. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You're driving. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, make sure this freaking fun. group spotted someone taking it. It's so different, <laughs> yet no, so perfect. Approximate the spin. This guy's the slightly suspect. Anyway. Wow. He was the only one who knew the details of both investigations. So, he takes what he knows about Hollins to throw suspicions off himself. <laughs> Maybe that nurse was right to be pissed that you were leaving. He was in good booth. No, we weren't in a toy car. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are in a really Listen tiny anybody. car. Aren't you on the... You're on the wrong side. Shouldn't the wheel be on the other side? That must be the car. How could it not be my fault? You don't get rich working for the FBI. Wow. Was very good to me. Wow. Corrupt Jim agent. It's no different than Booth taking out someone from the other side when he was a sniper in the Gulf. That was a war. His actions saved lives. You don't think getting rid of Kujini ended a street war? Wow. Come on, girl. She's a fighter. Your chance. Your chance. Come on. Come on. Damn it! Dude, that car is so freaking small! Hollings, the witness who saw a couple go into a building off of North 23rd. It's a building? Oh, yeah, that's real specific. You know, told me to use the key to unlock the soul behind their eyes. Ew. That's one sick bastard the world ain't gonna miss. I mean, he killed, so he definitely did kill people and kill individuals, but he kind of like set him up, you know, in a way. You can barely stand. I said I'm going with you. Give me my gun. Oh. All right, you know what? You can come too. All right? Oh, put that on. You stay back. <laughs> <laughs> Barely moving. Sorry. I Can y'all go a little bit faster? Maybe you shouldn't cut all that pudding. <laughs> Too much pudding. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You'll be going first. Come on. You'll never know a thing. There you go. He cares a lot about her, you can tell. Right here. Alright. Ken is telling us everything. I mean, I guess he figures there's nothing to hide. You know, he's finished anyway. Better late than never, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he looks better. Right here. We'll finish a delightful evening with reintegrated champagne. Then I'm rescheduled. <laughs> I had so hurt. The one big soul that belongs to everybody. Uh-huh. Well, you can watch TV if you'd like. Sure. I'll be there. Whoever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. <laughs> Love it. You can definitely tell. You can definitely tell.
Um, solid episode. I, see, I was... I don't know. I guess it took me a while to, uh, to think it was the, the agent, you know? But... I was slightly like, huh, this random guy appearing? Random introduction to a, a, a new character? I don't know why, I was just like, hmm. But, I didn't actually think it was gonna be him until, like, right as it revealed. Um, but, oh well. That other guy was definitely evil. Definitely. Absolutely one million percent. He, you could tell he was bad. You could so tell. Him and his keys. Crazy man. Anyways, like the video, comment below, subscribe if you have not already. We're getting closer and closer to the end of Season 1 of Bones. I'll see y'all next time.